Okay, so tan of kx. Well, first of all, if we look at y equals tan of x, then tan we know is sine x over cos x. So to differentiate tan, we could just use um, the quotient rule. So the quotient rule would say cosine that times by the derivative of the top, which is cosine, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is minus sine, all over the bottom squared. This is the quotient rule in action. So we get uh, cosine squared plus sine squared over cosine squared x. Now, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So this is 1 over cosine squared or sec squared x. So, in actual fact, tan x differentiates to sec squared x. So, if we then said, okay, well, if that's the case, then if I've got y equals tan of kx, and I let u be the kx, then y is equal to tan of u. du by dx is equal to k. dy by du from this result is sec squared u. So dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So k sec squared u and u was kx. And so that proves that tan kx differentiates to sec k sec squared kx.